So let me start off by saying this is not going to be a popular talk. Uh, so the question here is, does Donald Trump make you smarter? And I'm just going to give you the answer, just straight up. I'm going to give you an answer right now. The answer is yes. Now, before, before you guys boo or leave, I know I'm the last one, before you guys leave, do you guys want to know why? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I should add that this finding is data-driven, empirically tested. We've replicated it several times. Uh, but to understand how something can make you smarter, we must understand what smartness or intelligence is, right? One factor of intelligence, and this is tested in, uh, via the IQ test, um, as well as other ACT, SAT, et cetera, is the ability to consider missing or non-presented information. So the question is, how does Trump make us do that, right? And we're gonna shift gears real quick. Let's, let's talk about trust. Let's talk about trust for one second and trust's impact on our cognitions and perceptions. Trust is so powerful in our social interactions that we actually trust the information coming into our brains before we decide on the validity of the message. So we consider information that we see as truth and then correct if needed. There are rare instances in which this doesn't happen. And in one case in which this doesn't happen uh, is when we don't trust someone. And so consider the, you know, that sketchy salesperson that we've all talked to, right? I was recently at a car, uh, I was looking at cars, not that I can afford them, but I was looking at them. And <laughs> yeah, you know our stipends, right? Uh, but yeah, I was looking at, the, at cars and I was talking to this guy and he was like clearly sketchy. And as he was presenting this information about this car to me, I was like, what is he not telling me? You know, what is he not telling me? Is it the mileage, is it the previous owners? And so I was considering non-presented information, right? So let's, let's go back to Trump. So we ran the study, we expected uh, people to react the same way that I did, um, but specifically amongst Democrats, right? Democrats tend to not trust Trump. And so we ran the study and we expected the results, you know, I'll write my dissertation, move on. And we found that it worked for everyone. It worked for Republic Republicans and Democrats. And so we looked at why. Why did it work for everyone? And we found that Republicans associate Dis associate Trump with distrust as well, but for different reasons. They associated tr uh, Trump with distrust because he fights the uh, untrustworthy media, the untrustworthy uh, liberals, et cetera, et cetera. And so we find that amongst every demographic and every political affiliation, people become smarter because they're able to consider uh, non-presented information when they're exposed to Trump. Thank you.